Hey guys, this is Dawn, and I am painting something for my new dream journal. I gotta get some paint off my paintbrush. It was hard as a rock. I just use nail polish remover. It works really good, really quick. It's cheap, and it fits in with all of my paints. Yep. The image I'm painting today is from an old dream, so it's not in this dream journal. The dream I had was that I had an A-frame consignment shop, thrift shop kind of thing, where everything was souvenirs from the Mississippi Gulf Coast area. So I guess I like to go to thrift shops and do <laughs> what I normally do and get all kinds of souvenirs from the area. And then that way people could come and maybe even find vintage things that were souvenirs from their trips. Or maybe people that are nostalgic for their childhood could find some fun things, some clothes, salt and pepper shakers, postcards, mugs, whatever you could think of. It was in my dream. So how I like to roll is I just do background and then I start adding things slowly. I don't make a big deal about it. I want to have a good time. I don't want to stress out. And the perception that's going to end up at the end of this, it's not even. And all through painting it, you can see it's not even. But, you know, dreams are kind of wonky too. So I'm not really that worried about it. I love to do dream interpretation and I love to write out my dreams. A lot of times I wake up and I just talk into my phone like my video and I go back and find them later when I'm usually editing other videos and I have to go back in and write them in my journal. And then I like to interpret them. Usually I Google the meanings. I couldn't find a dream interpretation specifically for an A-frame building. So I looked up, you know, structural aspects of buildings. It talks about needing more support in life or needing to feel supported by those around me in the spiritual and physical world. And I relate to that still. I related to it when I had the dream. I relate to it now. It says architecture may also refer to the structure of your daily routine, whether you feel you're on solid foundation to move forward. And I was doing everything I could back then and it just wasn't working out. So yeah, that makes sense now. I had to flip this upside down so I could get my hand to go in the right movement to get the right angle. And none of this makes sense, really, honestly, but it's just so I can get the background stuff going. And if it's not fun, I don't want to do it. If it's too complicated, it's not fun. And so if it's not fun, <laughs> you know, then what's the point? So then I looked up, what does it mean to dream of a triangle? I have a lot of triangle dreams, actually. Conflict in relationships, such as a love triangle or being a third wheel. Goodness, I hope not. Um, but definitely conflict in relationships. Transformation and change during a challenging time. Oh my goodness. Does it seem like I'm ever not changing and things are not constantly challenging, but I just keep pulling up my big girl panties and doing my best. It also talks about hidden mysteries, wisdom, and finding balance and harmony within conflicting aspects of myself. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, I've had a lot of transformation over the past few years. A lot of weird things that I came to light, and a lot of hard decisions I had to make that I never thought I could make, nor did anybody around me ever think that I could make. So now I surround myself with people that have faith in me that I can make good, hard decisions. Now this one's interesting. I decided to Google what does it mean to dream of a thrift shop because this is basically a thrift shop on the beach, you know. So it says to dream that you're at a thrift shop suggests that there are things from your past experiences that you can still learn from. I love that. That's how I am. I, I try to take things like I don't want to beat myself up for mistakes I made or things I did wrong. I just want to put it in my tool bag of things to not do again later if I can help it. It also says do not underestimate something that is seemingly worthless. The thrift shop may also symbolize ideas or skills that you have forgotten and can draw from in the current situation. When I had this dream, it was before I started painting again. I think I had this dream around 2018. Mm -hmm. It was before I ever thought I'd be brave enough to put my music on YouTube or do YouTube at all, for that matter. 
It was just something I would, you know, fantasize about here and there, but I never put any effort into it. Another part of the interpretation is about grappling with issues of lack and limitation and feeling undeserving of something new. I'm so glad that I am not there anymore. Of course, there's going to be an aspect if you dream about thrift stores and secondhand things that represents second chances and new opportunities or even unexpected surprises. But I love how it also talks about making the most out of situations. It suggests that the person having the dream is good at making the best out of every situation, trying to keep an open mind, remaining curious, but also being persistent and patient. Am I patient? <laughs> people tell me that I am. Some people say I'm patient. Some people say I'm not. I don't know. I guess it depends on what they're trying to get out of me, huh? So next I researched dreaming about the beach. Well, in my case, it's my hometown, and that was a very, very specific part of it. But I'm also going to look into the beach. It talks about a reflection of a joyous and happy phase of your life. Obviously, for me, it's my homesickness for the Mississippi Gulf Coast. I miss my family. I miss my grandparents. All the people that have passed away. I'm homesick for them. It says beach dreams may refer to the onset of changes, new modes of thinking, plans, or the desire to work towards your goals. The dream of being on the beach means that whatever happens in your life, you will make peace with whatever comes without going through times of stress and sadness. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if it got that part right. There's a few different definitions for dreaming of a glass house, and basically this was a completely glass front house. Um, the one that stuck out the most was being watched. There was definitely a phase in my life where every time I turned around people were giving me opinions of me. It was making me bonkers. This also talks though about um, having strong intuition, being in touch with your inner wisdom, and using your inner wisdom to make decisions in your life. And that is definitely, you know, and I'm not saying that I'm wise, but we all become wise as we get older about the things that we've overcome. And finally, dreaming of my hometown. It says to dream of your hometown represents feelings of familiarity or returning to your beginnings. Enjoying experiences of being yourself and being remembered by someone from your past. Remembering what your life was like before you moved on to bigger things. Remembering or acknowledging your roots. Situations where you feel you are always welcome or belonging. Don't we all long for that? I know I do. And by the way, if you're enjoying this at all, I would love a like or a comment. It really helps my page. I'm a tiny channel and any little bit helps. Um, so anyways, at this time when I was painting, there was this cool bird making all kinds of noise. I'm pretty sure that's one of our barred owls. Tennessee has a bunch of them. I kind of added these posters at the last minute. Um, I kind of painted them over the glass, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't really know what to paint, so we're just going to do a little Picasso thing going on. Made sure the sign says open, and here we have it. 